Oh yeah, it's double. Double organic. Do active video games get people who are inactive to become more active? Well, I'm going to tell you what the science says on this matter. I choose you, Pikachu! Pikachu! For those that don't know, or uh, don't follow my channel, but you should, uh, I have a background in kinesiology, and I've uh, studied uh, exercise and nutrition extensively, and how that affects uh, people's health, wellness, weight loss, etc, etc, etc. We live in an era where technology and video games are just evolving so quick. And it lets us do some pretty cool things, such as uh, the Pokemon Go game, which lets you live your fantasy of capturing Pokemon in the wild. Whether that's downtown or out in the forest, you can capture a Pokemon on your phone with some uh, rather neat technology. And yeah, it lets, lets people live out their childhood fantasy from playing the video games or watching the TV show back in the day. And uh, I don't think that's a bad thing to, to want to pretend and have an imagination to, to capture some Pokemon. And it's a fantasy that can leave the bedroom. Now here's the powerful or uh, really beneficial thing about active video games. They create what's called a substitution uh, behavior or, or like a substitute intervention rather than an additive. With an additive one, it's basically saying, hey, you're playing video games. Go exercise too. With the substitution, it's saying, hey, you're playing video games. How about instead of playing those ones where you're sitting on your ass, you get up and walk around or, you know, you're doing the dance dance dev revolution and you're, you're moving your feet around and you're sweating. Right? So you're, you're, you're spending the same amount of time doing what you're going to do anyway. Whether it's one hour of video game a day or ten hours of video games a day. If you can substitute some of that time and turn that inactive video gaming into active video gaming, that's really, really awesome. And so that's what this type of uh, intervention will allow to happen. of these video games are huge because it's turning people into exercisers. People who would never consider exercise will do anything to play that video game. Even exercise, it's like, well if the only way to play this video game, which looks so awesome, is to walk around catching Pokemon or, or to do this or that, well then they're going to want to play that. The first study I want to talk to you about compares their baseline, where they're just laying down doing nothing, their metabolic rate when they're playing a normal video game, and when they're playing five different active video games at random. Compares the metabolic rate of 21 children aged uh, 10 to 14, equal number of gender. They tracked their VO2, which is the amount of oxygen they're consuming. You can imagine at rest, you're not consuming much oxygen, you're just breathing like... But when you're working, you're... You know, you're breathing hard. If you ever exercise, you know what that feels like. Uh, then the next thing is their activity count, as well as their heart rate. And as their heart rate increases, they're, they're working harder. So all of this testing was done in a temperature controlled room which allows uh, the researchers to tell how many calories uh, the, the people are burning by uh, how much the, the temperature rises in the room. And basically for the uh, heart rate, VO2 and activity counts, Baseline and the normal video games were pretty much identical, maybe a tiny bit different, but like statistically they're the same. The active games were way higher, 
but how much higher? Sure, they were they were higher, but if if this is your your uh, baseline and this is your active video game, is exercise up here or is exercise way up here? Like, what's the difference? How close to mimicking exercise intensities do these active video games get? And that's a really important question. And they get pretty darn close. Non-active video games burn around 0.1 to 0.13 kilojoules per kilogram per minute. And that's about one to do one to two mets, which is a metabolic equivalent. And we'll get to that in a second. Active video games burn between 0.2 and 0.54 kilojoules per kilogram per minute, which is between 3.2 and 6.8 mets. Again, that's a metabolic equivalent. One more study that I want to talk to you about is a long-term study, which is really, you know, what's going to tell us how effective these interventions are. And so there's two groups, your control group who just do what they're already doing, nothing, and your intervention group who played every day for six months these active video games. And the uh, intervention group lost on average 0.83% body fat off of their body fat. So if they're at 20% body fat, they're going to be at 19.2% body fat now. So it's, a, it's not a huge loss, but it's, it is clearly beneficial and also helpful when there's you know, snow outside and kids aren't going to want to go outside or when uh, there's really not, not uh, many parks or playgrounds around. Maybe you're in an exercise desert. I'm sure you've heard of a food desert exercise deserts exist and you know when I grew up across the street was a park other people they might have nothing nearby so uh, that's some stuff that's important to consider as well alright so I hope you enjoyed that video I've got many 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 more to come uh, videos that uh, sort of say what the science is saying about different subjects I uh, got a couple more video ideas about video games in my experience and uh, you know there's, there's a lot of potential for these video games. Uh, we're just kind of starting to scratch the surface of, of um, these virtual reality games where people can, you know, if they jump their character jumps, if they crouch their character crouches, if they're sprinting their character sprints. Imagine the possibilities. Uh, that we can have our technology put us into these uh, really realistic environments and you know it could be a huge stepping stone to, to becoming more active. conspiracy theory as much as the next conspiracy theorist <laughs> uh, there is some allegations about going around about how uh, Pokemon Go is designed to track you and stuff like that and uh, cell phone uh, safety and the, the uh, ability of other organizations being able to access things and use cameras and all that kind of stuff is really important. Uh, whether these allegations are true or not, it's not my place to speak. But uh, I think you know it's really awesome when someone who's depressed and won't even leave the house now needs to leave the house to go catch Pokemon. I don't know. I think it's pretty impressive. Anyway, let me know what you think. Post any comments or questions below or any other uh, video requests. And give it a thumbs up if you like Pokemon or other games. Yeah, Pokemon, gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Oh yeah, it's double organic. Did you know I offer raw food coaching? 
comment, like, share, and subscribe. Got epic recipes, fitness, and raw food motivation. Connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Whoa, look at all those recipes. Those look tasty. Give me some of that. I'm proud to announce the release of my free raw recipe app. Do you want over 100 original raw food recipes in the palm of your hand? Click the links to download or search Double Organic on your phone.